the Roberts. Thank you, Chair. Thank you for being here again, Ms Booth. Mr oh. Scully. Great pleasure, Senator Roberts. I refer to the Fair Work Ombudsman website on the Black Coal Mining Industry Award that asks pay and entitlements less than the award? Question mark. The Fair Work's answer is, quote, employees must be paid at least award pay rates and entitlements. Then there's another, another uh, instruction, an invitation. If your pay rates are less than the award, go to help resolving workplace issues to follow our step-by-step -step guide on how to fix it, how you can fix it. Does the Fair Work Ombudsman have a standard process or template it uses to assess whether an employee is being paid less than the award? Uh, the Fair Work Ombudsman has a pay calculator um, that allows anyone, uh, an employee or an employer, um, to provide information as requested and then it calculates the correct award rate. And that's the case for all sectors. So it doesn't have a template, um, but an individual can step his, his or her way through it? I think the pay calculator could be described as a template, but it's interactive. Um, it's a series of smart forms uh, which you complete and then you get a response at the end which tells you what the award rate is. Um, for further information on the pay calculator, I could turn to uh, my supporters here. Mr Scully, would you like to talk more about the pay calculator? Yes, thank Senator you. Roberts? Uh, Mark Scully, Deputy Fair Work Ombudsman for Compliance and Enforcement. So our, um, we call it PACT, which is Paying Conditions Tool, but it's, a, uh, it's an online calculator that um, has um, hundreds and thousands of uh, pay combinations and calculations that um, can, be, can be provided um, and is tailored to the particular um, award and classification and the like that the, uh, that the user, the user keys, keys in. Uh, it's a very popular tool. I think last financial year there was something like 6.4 million people who used it, and there was certainly like 7.1 million uh, pay calculations provided, I think, for the year. So it's, it's, widely, it's widely used by the community. So there's no template, but an individual can, can attempt to check? Correct. Okay. So is that tailored to cover pay rates subject to the coverage of the Black Coal Mining Industry Award and the rosters that are used in Central Queensland and uh, Hunter Valley? Well, it covers all awards, Senator. Does it cover the roster? I know that's a very complex uh, situation involving the, the rosters, the 12-hour rosters in uh, the Hunter Valley and Central Queensland. I, I would need to check that, but I don't know that it would go to the rosters. It's more yeah. awards and classifications and goes to... Um, weekday rates and um, weekends and shift penalties and the likes. Yeah, it's a very complex roster. Uh, people have difficulty. Um, so would, would the uh, Fair Work Ombudsman agree to undertake an assessment uh, in regard to the application of coal enterprise agreements uh, and provide the outcomes to me? The Fair Work Ombudsman certainly will respond to any employee who has a question. Uh, we will provide information. Do they be current employees or can they be past employees? I'll ask Mr Scully uh, to answer that question on the basis that um, the info line is available to anyone. We don't ask people to verify uh, their employment status. So I'm going to say that anyone can ring the info line and ask a question. Would that be right, Mr Scully? Sorry, that, that's you, good. You would not have to be an employee to ring the info line and ask a question. We, that don't, is, we don't seek to verify people's employment status. That is, that is correct. I wasn't thinking about calling up myself. I was thinking about past people who've left the industry but have been underpaid dramatically. So when a call comes, information is given. If that information doesn't satisfy the caller and the caller still has a dispute that um, they uh, regard as unresolved, um, then we call it a request for assistance. We identify that and we move it through to an assessment team and that assessment team will speak directly with the employer and the employee and attempt to resolve the matter. I think you know also that it will go forward uh, beyond that uh, through inspector support to um, uh, our um, investigator and inspectors uh, to conduct investigations okay. um, should it not be resolved by the assessment team. That is the pathway. Thank you. Uh, by the way, a team of workplace lawyers, consultants and coal miners reviewed and analysed five significant labour hire coal mining enterprise agreements and the work roster that are operating in Queensland and, and Hunter Valley. The CFMEU and the Mining and Energy Union were involved in or were a party to or signed off on all five agreements. The Fair Work Commission approved all five agreements. The enterprise agreements all underpay the award. The award. 
The core staff agreement, for example, 2018 enterprise agreement, yearly underpayment estimated at $22,600. The FES agreement, 2018 yearly underpayment estimated at almost at $27,500. The work pack agreement, 2019 yearly underpayment estimated at $33,500. The Chandler McLeod agreement, 2020 yearly underpayment of casuals estimated at $39,341. The Tessa Group Agreement 2022 yearly underpayment estimated at over $40,000. Let's come back. Between 2012 to the present day, could you please provide the number of requests for assistance made regarding underpayments by the Chandler McLeod Group relating specifically to the Black Coal Mining Industry Award and associated enterprise agreements? I believe we would have to take a question like that on notice, um, Senator. Um, we collect information uh, at the info line on a range of demographics. Um, I wouldn't be sure whether we could go to that degree of disaggregation. Um, but I think it is important just to reinforce that uh, the Fair Work Ombudsman enforces the law as it exists. Uh, and as you know, a Fair Work instrument uh, includes an enterprise agreement that's been approved by the Fair Work Commission. Um, and we don't uh, play a role in um, interrogating uh, the, uh, the approvability or otherwise of, of such an instrument. Once it's in existence, we must um, uh, take it uh, on its face value. Anyway, thank you. You can take it on notice. Again, in relation to Chandler McLeod and the Black Coal Mining Industry Award, how many requests for assistance were closed with the following general determinations? Under the award, you can be casual or the 20, 2007 Workplace Agreement covered your employment, or the insertion of Section 15A into the Fair Work Act determines you're casual. If you could take that on notice too, please. It would certainly be a degree of detail that I would not have at my fingertips. Is there anything that... Uh, uh, that I'd be surprised if you... Say I, mean, I, can, I can only advise, Senator, that over the last... Since um, July 2019 to 31st of December 2024, we've resolved 30 disputes that relate to the... Uh, coal mining industry. Now, I haven't got any further details about that, but it's, there's 30 over the last um, four and a half years. Thank you, Mr Scully. That's in coal. This is specifically Chandler McLeod and the yep. Black Coal Mining Industry Award. And how many of the above requests, you'd have to take this on notice too, proceeded to the investigation stage and have any of those not been formally closed and if so, which ones? Thank you, Mr Scully. Thank you, Ms Booth. Thank you, Chair.